In this video, I'm going to teach you how to convert fractions to decimals. I'm going to teach you two techniques, two ways of doing it. The first one works in some of the cases. The other one works in all cases, but it's worth knowing both of them because it may help you in the future. So let's start. We're going to start with one half, one over two. So we want to know how to write half as a decimal. In the first technique, we need to find the smallest of these three, 10, 100, and 1,000. Which one of these three is the smallest who can be divided by the denominator? Ten, one hundred, or one thousand. So in this case, it's very simple. We know that two times five is ten, so we'll pick ten. We use two times five in the denominator, and the exact thing we'll do to the numerator. So we multiplied two by five. We'll multiply one by five. And we get 5 over 10. Now we write 0 point something because 5 is less than 10. So it's obviously 0 point something. And we put placeholder. In this case, we put only one placeholder because the number that we chose, which is 10, has only one zero. The number of zeros determines the number of placeholders. So if we chose 100, we would have two placeholders, which we would need to fill with numbers. So again, in this case, we chose 10, so it's only one placeholder. And then we place the numerator right here. And we get that 1 half equals to 0 0.5. Let's see the second example. 1 over 5, 1 fifth. Which one of these three is a multiplication of 5? Which one of these can be divided evenly by 5? The smallest of these three. It's obviously 10. 5 times 2 is 10, so we'll pick 10 again. And again, we write 5 over 2 in the denominator. And the same number that we multiplied the denominator, we multiplied the numerator. And we get 2 over 10. 2 is smaller than 10, so we write 0 point something. And 10 has only one zero, so we write placeholder here. And we place the numerator right here. And we got the answer. 0 0.2 is actually 1 over 5. Again, very simple. What do we do here? 3 quarters, 3 over 4. Which one do we choose now? Obviously, 10 cannot be divided evenly by 4, so we take 100, and it's 4 times 25. We write it here, and we multiply the numerator by 25, and we get 75 over 100. And again, the 100 as, has two zeros, so we put two placeholders, and we place the numerator right there. And we get that 0 0.75 is 3 over 4, 3 quarters. Fraction, decimal. Very simple. Let's see another example. 2 over 25. Ten 
cannot be divided by 25. It's smaller than 25, so let's try 100. And 25 by 4 is 100, so we pick this one. And we multiply 25 by 4 and the 2 by 4. We will perform the same action on the denominator and on the numerator. And we get 8 over 100. 8 is smaller than 100. So we write 0 point, and since 100 has two zeros, we put two placeholders. But what do we do now? If we put the 8 here, it won't be true. So if you have more placeholders than digits in the numerator, you start placing the numerator from the right-hand side. So in this case, you place the 8 here, and the rest of the placeholders are filled with zeros. In this case, we have only one placeholder, which will be empty. So we fill it with a zero. So we write eight and a zero. And the answer is 0 0.08. So we start filling the placeholders from the right to the left. And we get that 2 over 25 is 0 0.08. Let's see how we deal with one third, one over three. Well, it, 10 cannot be divided by three. And 100 cannot be divided by three. No can 1,000. So what do we do? Ah. You remember at the beginning of the lesson, I told you that I'm going to teach you a second technique, which works in every case. So let's see how we do it. The solution for this second technique is using long division. We multiply the numerator by the denominator. But hey, how can you do that? I mean, I cannot divide the one by three, right? Well, there's a trick. First of all, we say, okay, one is smaller than three. So we write zero, zero point something. And then we change the one into 10. We add a zero to it. 10 can be divided by three, not evenly. We will have a remainder, but it's very useful. Let's see how we do that. 10 divided by three is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. We subtract, we get 1. 1 is smaller than 3, so we add a 0 to it. 10 divided by 3 is 3 again. 3 times 3 is 9. We're left with a 1, smaller than 3. Add a 0. And what's going on here? We keep getting 3, 3, 3, and it goes on forever. 10, 9, 10, 9. This will go on forever. It's infinitive. It's recurring. This digit is recurring. So since we don't want to waste too much time, we have a way to mark it. We write 0 0.3. And above the recurring digit, we put a sign that tells us that this is a recurring digit, a repeating digit. And we get that one third, one over three is 0 0.3, and only the three is recurring. And this technique works in all cases. Now let's see, let's see it in other cases, other examples. One over nine. Again, it cannot be 9, it's not a multiplication of 10, no 100, neither 1,000. So, again, we use the second technique, long division. 1 cannot be divided by 9, so we write 0 point something and we add a 0 to the 1. 10 
divided by 9. That's 1. 1 times 9 is 9. And we're left with 1 smaller than 9, so we add 0. We get 1 again. And again, and again, and again. This is also a recurring decimal. The 1 will go on forever, you see. 10, 9, 10, 9. We just mark it with 0 0.1 and put a sign on the 1. This gives us 1 over 9, which is 0 0.1, and the 1 is recurring. Let's see what we do with 1 over 6. I'll skip the uh, part the 10, 100, and 1,000, because none of them can be divided evenly by 6. And I'll use long division again. 1 is smaller than 6, so it's 0 point something. And we add a 0 to the 1, and we get 10 divided by 6, which is 1. 1 times 6 is 6, and we're left with a 4. 4 is too small, so we add a 0. 40 <clears throat> divided by 6 is 6. 6 times 6 is 36, and we subtract. And again, it's smaller than 6, so we add a 0. And it's 6 again, and 6 times 6 is 36. And this one goes forever again. Only in this case, it started in the second digit. So we'll have 0 0.1666 forever. Only the 6 is recurring, not the 1. So we have 0 0.16 and we put the recurring sign only on the 6. Because the 1 is not recurring, it appears only once. And we get that 1 over 6, or 1 sixth, is 0 0.16, with a recurring 6. 1 over 11. What do we do with this? Yeah, we'll skip this one as well. We know that they cannot be divided by 11. So we use long division, 0 point something. 10 still cannot be divide, divided by 11, so we add another 0 here. And we change this to 100, which can be divided by 11. Not evenly, but it can be divided with a remainder, which is 9. 9 times 11 is 99, and we get a 1. We get a zero, still not good enough, so we write zero here. And we add another zero. 100 divided by 11 is 9. And we have a repeating pattern again. And this one goes forever. So I think you got the point by now. So we write it like this. 0 0.09 and as you can see 0 9 0 9 so in this case two digits are recurring both the 0 and the 9 this is how you mark it you put the recurring sign over the repeating digits and we get that 1 over 11 is 0 0.09 where the 0 and 9 are recurring So, in this lesson, we learned how to convert fractions to decimals. We learned how to convert 1 half to 0 0.5, and that 1 over 5 is 0 0.2, and that 3 quarters is 0 0.75, and that 2 over 25 is 0 0.08. And we also learned about recurring decimals. 
one third is 0 0.3 recurring sine on the three. One over nine is 0 0.1 recurring one. One over six is 0 0.1, six where only the six is recurring. And one over 11 is 0 0.09 where both the zero and the nine are recurring. See you in the next lesson.